good morning in this session we will learn about magnetic effects of current we are going to learn magnetic effects of current magnetic effects of current now if you consider a wire which carries a current let me say it carries a current i now this current carrying conductor always produces a magnetic field around it so there is a relation between current and magnetic field the current in a conductor produces magnetic field now the question is what is the intensity of the field or what is the magnetic field magnitude of the magnetic field how strong is the magnetic field around this conductor and also what is the direction of this magnetic field when i say a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field the question arises in our mind how strong is this field how can we find out the magnitude of this field or how can we find the direction of this field so we have different laws here to find the answer for these questions so this biot-savre law gives us the magnitude of this magnetic field first we will see what is the magnitude of this magnetic field using biot-savre law and then we will see what is its direction this law biot-savre law gives only the magnitude of of the magnetic field magnitude or intensity of magnetic field and it doesn't give the direction so here let me write bio savra law we know a current carrying wire produces a magnetic field around it that i will write here a current carrying wire or conductor produces a magnetic field around it the magnitude of this magnetic field the magnitude of this field is given by by a bio savra law now we'll see how this uh, law can be defined for that let us consider a current carrying conductor and you call it as xy 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 is a current carrying conductor xy is a current carrying conductor let the current through this conductor be equal to i let i be the current which is flowing through this conductor xy or the conductor xy carries current i i is the current carried by this conductor i is the current now let us say we need to find out the magnetic field at some point say p any point okay for this reason so let p be the point where we want to find out the magnetic field now for this reason what we do is instead of connecting the whole conductor 
consider a small current element so let us consider a small current element dl consider a small current element dl instead of considering the whole length xy you consider a very small element dl of the conductor and let p be the point where you want to find out the magnetic field due to this small element and let me say the distance between this p and this dl is r So this is a small vector here dl and let theta is the angle between the distance vector r and the current element dl. The angle between dl and r is angle theta. Let us write these things whatever we have taken here in this picture over here. So we said xy is a current carrying conductor and i is the current flowing through the conductor so let dl is the small current element let dl let dl infinitesimal means very small element of the conductor let p be the point where do you want to so p is the point point where we have to find the magnetic field due to current element dl dl let p be the point where you want to find out the magnetic field due to the current element dl let db is the field at p let db is the magnetic field at p magnetic field at p due to current element dl and let r is the distance between dl and p r is the r is the distance between the current element dl and p and theta is the angle between the current element dl and r theta is the angle between distance vector r angle between distance vector r and dl the theta is the angle between distance vector r and dl now according to biot-savre law the magnitude of the magnetic field db at point b due to the current element dl is directly proportional to current i and the current element dl and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them 
so according to the law so bio savra law states that the magnitude of small magnetic field the magnitude of magnetic field db at p due to current i due to the magnetic magnitude of magnetic field db at p due to due to current i is given by is given by db is equal to db is given by db is equal to or uh, we can write first uh, it is proportional to okay is given by or instead of is given by i can say that the magnitude as di directly proportional to like that we can write is so bio savra law states that the magnitude of magnetic field db at p due to current i is directly proportional to directly proportional to the current i comma the element length dl length dl and inversely proportional to and inversely proportional to square of the distance r square of the distance r so bio savra law states that the magnitude of magnetic field db at p due to current i is directly proportional to the current i the element length dl and inversely proportional to square of the distance r now in vector notation it can be written as in vector form in vector form this law can be written as db magnetic field is a vector quantity is proportional to i into the current element vector dl into the distance vector r divided by when you write it in a uh, vector form this will become r cube db is proportional to i into dl by r into r cube or the when you write only the magnitude you can write db as proportional to i into dl and dl into r the angle between dl and r is theta so when i take the magnitude it will become i into dl into sin theta where theta is the angle between dl and r 
theta remember theta is the angle between the current element vector and the distance vector divided by r square or this can be written as d by s the magnitude db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi mu naught by 4 pi into ideal sin theta ideal sin theta divided by ideal sin theta divided by r square so here ideal sin theta here we have used the property of the cross product dl cross r now this proportionality constant mu naught by 4 pi is given by the value of mu naught by 4 pi is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 10 to the power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere and mu naught is called as mu naught is called as permeability of free space or vacuum permeability permeability of free space or vacuum free space or vacuum now for bio savra law remember this equation because here onwards we will be using this equation mu naught by 4 pi into ideal sin theta divided by r square i repeat db is mu naught by 4 pi into ideal sin theta by r square 